Well, lots and lots. I, you know, I was one of these very voracious media consumers. Although, of course, by 21st century uh, standards, I'm like those those kids in the Victorian era who had two books in the nursery and thought themselves very rich because most people had none. But uh, you know, I read a book a day when I was a kid uh, and listened to tons of music. And you know, I grew up in the home taping era. That's a, I, I, I used to. I, I like to say that I, um, my teenage years would have been absolutely celibate if it wasn't for mixtapes. Um, so I was deeply involved in in all of that stuff. Um, I, I, of the writers of that era who really influenced me, the one that I like to mention most is um, Daniel Pinkwater, uh, who's a chi native Chicagoan, or, or rather a Chicago transplant at one point, uh, now living, I think, in upstate New York. You may have heard him on NPR, but he's written lots and lots of young adult novels. Excuse me, I should have turned that off beforehand. My grandmother. Thank you. It's the theme from the Carousel of Progress at Disney World, uh, which debuted at the 1964 New York World's, World's Fair. So anyway, the, um, the uh, uh, where was I? Yeah, Daniel Pinkwater is just, just an amazing young adult writer who, it, the, one of the themes that's always in his books is kids self-actualizing to learn stuff, learn stuff that's forbidden, obscure, weird, interesting, to follow their weird into new places and to kind of go their own way. It is the best literature for happy mutants I know of. 